Welcome everyone. In this short video, we will look at least squares line fitting, a total least squares line fitting and ransack using Python implementations. So let's remind ourselves about the context of the problem. We have set of noisy points x1, y1 up to xn, yn uh, shown like this. And we want to estimate this line y equals mx plus c. That means the parameters m and c. So you can see when we have estimated this line, uh, there are errors in the vertical direction along the y-axis. And those errors can be written in this form and we square it and get this function which we want to minimize. We can write that in matrix form in this system of linear equations. You can see there is x column x1 to xn and a column of ones concatenated with that to form matrix X. And then the parameters that we want to find in capital B and the Y values in vector Y. And the solution is given by X transpose XB equals X transpose Y. So we can use something like a pseudo inverse uh, to find B. Okay, let's look at the implementation. Okay, in this case, this is the equation that we are implementing. So the slope is 2, uh, the intercept is 1. So we are generating about uh, 10 points. And then the noise vector with a standard deviation of 2. Uh, there are no outliers, so all zeros. Then we form the line y equals mx plus c plus noise. Then we construct the capital X matrix, the X values, the vector X, concatenated with a column of column of Y ones. And then uh, this is the place where we compute B, NP lin alg P inf to signify the pseudo inverse. X transpose times X times X transpose times y exactly this equation and then we can extract the estimated m value estimated c value and then plot the line so you can see in this picture uh, the ground truth line in black and the set of noisy points in blue and the estimated line in red so the values that we have obtained are 0 2.09 and 0.98 which are very close to m equals 2 and c equals 1 Okay, now let's look at the effect of outliers. So what I did here was having another point x equals 20 and to that one I am introducing y equals 20 with this outlier vector. Now that is an outlier. So what happens is since we are using a squared error, the outlier totally affects the a solution. So when you have outliers, we must use a robust method like using a robust defined function or we must use a ransack like a method. Okay, now let's look at total least squares. Now in the total least squares con context, we parameterize the line as ax plus by equals d. d is the distance to the line from the origin and AB form the unit vector perpendicular to the line. You can see the xi and yi. So the error can be written in this form and D is AX bar plus BY bar. X bar is the average of X values. Y bar is the average of Y values. When you substitute D here, we get this expression and that we can write as X minus X bar, XN minus X bar, YY y1 minus y bar, yn minus y bar, which matrix we call u, and a b vector that we need to find, which we call n, and then we square it, and we want to minimize it. So we minimize u n norm squared, but we must ensure that it is minimized subject to n squared equals 1. Otherwise, 
a equals 0, b equals 0, trivial solution will be a solution. To solve this, we can use eigenvector, the eigenvector corresponding to the smallest eigenvalue of u transpose u. Now let's look at the implementation. So here you can see uh, m equals minus 1, c equals 2. And then I have generated the line with the noise added with standard division of 1. And uh, then I have created uh, the, the x matrix uh, with x and the y values um, horizontally stacked. Um, uh, then um, I have just plotted the scatter plot with the ground truth line. So you can see there, it's, there is only noise, no outliers. So now what we have to do is uh, implement this using a single value decomposition. Um, in order to do that, I have to import uh, Lin, uh, yeah, I have already imported that. There is no problem with that. So, uh, to construct u, I had to take x uh, that we have constructed as x line. That means the horizontal concatenation of x values and y values. And from that, we subtract, subtract the mean of that. That means the mean along the vertically downward direction along x-axis uh, then we obtain this part of the matrix that's u uh, then what we have to do is you have to compute u transpose u and compute the single value decomposition of that we don't need the u sigma but we need only v transpose and of v transpose we take the last vector that corresponds to the smallest eigenvalue and we take the first value of that, 0 is value, and the second value of that. So first value corresponds to A, second value corresponds to B, and to compute D, uh, we use uh, this equation, AX bar BY bar. Uh, so you can see that's how we have computed D. Uh, and then this, we just print that, and then I have plotted that. So you can see um, all the points are there, and the total E squares line blue one, and the ground truth line are overlapping. You cannot even see that. Yeah. Okay. Remember the noise is Gaussian. That's why these things. Uh, but no outliers. Okay. Now let's look at uh, RANSAC. Now RANSAC uh, works when uh, there are outliers, but the examples that I would show you does not have outliers, but it will work with outliers. So what we do is repeat n times row s points uniformly at random. To estimate the line, we need two points. So therefore, s equals 2. Uh, fit the model to these points. So like that, we will fit the line. And then find the inliers by defining a threshold. This threshold must be defined based on the standard deviation of the points. But I'm not doing that in this implementation. Uh, you can do that on your own. And then uh, between these uh, dotted lines, uh, that dotted line is t apart from the estimated line we can find the inliers so you can see the consensus of the inliers contain many points mm. so if we have d or more inliers then we accept the model and uh, taking all the green points we fit a new line and this is what we have to do in RANSAC. so let's look at that implementation so i thought of using um, a sci-fi optimized to uh, do this uh, optimization here rather than using this form using the SVD. Uh, so that's also interesting. Uh, so we can see once again we have uh, the line x there which contains uh, column x and column y and then uh, to get the equation from um, two points I have written some function. Uh, maybe that's not important. And then the total least squares uh, if I have a, b and d uh, taken as a parameter and the indices of the points I have x underscore here those are the lines so I can compute the uh, error uh, in this fashion uh, so if you remember from the slides uh, the error is this one so axi dyi minus d square that's the error and summation so that's what we are doing exactly here okay uh, then remember in this uh, Total e squares, we have to keep n squared equals 1 constraint. 
so I'm defining that constraint gx equals x squared plus first number squared second number squared minus one here small x is actually a b and d so x naught is a x1 is b please remember that and then define the constraint here equal it's, uh, it's an equality constraint so if you want more details about this uh, please look at the scipy dot of scipy dot minimize uh, functions uh, description also you can look at look at i think uh, the relevant section in uh, Boyd's uh, convex optimization book okay uh, then uh, to get the consensus line you can see once again i'm passing uh, as x a b and d values and this is the error as you know um, for the total squares line and if error is less than t which we pass in yeah, that's a consensus so our t i just set as one um, i think it must be related to the standard deviation and then um, d i thought 60 percent of the points i will take as uh, the number of inliers required because i know i don't have any outliers in this problem and then uh, this these parameters you have to carefully tune tune s equals to uh, to estimate two points we need uh, to, uh, two uh, points to be sampled to estimate a line we need two points to be sampled and then i um, keep the inliers in memory maximum iterations is 50 iterations best model of the line and best error i set to infinity best sample line line risk yeah so on so we don't worry about those uh, so up until 50 iterations i run this so i extract uh, some random indices out of this n i extract two indices and then i put this in x note array um, one and one the initial estimates of the parameters that i want actually for this line we know that the para parameters that i would get are 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 and the last parameter is 1.4 so i thought of writing them as 1 1 and 0 as the initial estimate uh, then residual is minimize then you have to give the function line totally squares arguments the indices a starting point is x naught the tolerance 10 to the power minus 6 the constraints and uh, the display option there are many other options that you can give to the scipy minimize function so it is up to you to look at them and then uh, i get the inliers by passing that to the consensus line function uh, then i print the result and then uh, i get the iteration and the sum of inliers that i have and the sum of if the inliers sum of sum is greater than d uh, so i retain the result so and I estimate the line once again by uh, using all these uh, inlines. Yeah, so that's uh, all for this. Uh, so you can uh, study this in more detail. Uh, so you can see um, all the points are in blue. On top of them, I have uh, used this uh, yellowish color uh, to identify the inliers. Uh, so you can see uh, the in red the best sample that has been used to compute the um, base model uh, that one differs from the ransack line because after we computed the base point we took all the inliers and re-estimated the line that's why the blue line that is the ransack line does not go through those points and you can see uh, the uh, ground truth line also okay uh, so that's uh, about the ransack so what we looked at uh, in this uh, brief uh, discussion is how to use uh, least squares line fitting then total least squares and total least squares within the transact setting thank you